Nine matches were played in match day 22 of the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League this weekend. And it's advantage FC Platinum after they opened up a six-point lead at the top with victory over ZPC Kariba. Danos won their first game in a month, but in Chicken Inn, they also scored for the first time in five matches in the league. And Caps United coach Lloyd Chitemba believes the green machine are on course for their recovery process despite playing a goalless draw against Monika Diamonds. Match day 22 got on the way on Friday with the rentals taking on basement club Wawa and the two sides settles for a goalless draw. The result didn't do much for both sides as the rentals remained seventh on the log while Wawa are rooted at the bottom despite a well and draw on the road. At Mandava Stadium, Walter Musona headed in the goal to give leaders FC Platinum a 1-0 win over ZPC Kariba, who had Vasily Kawa sent off. The victory ensured FC Platinum opens up a six-point gap over second place Chicken Inn. For ZPC, the loss slid them into relegation zone, dropping one place from 14th to 15th. Benjani Maruwaru Slack finally ran out as a 1-0 defeat to Yada at the National Sports Stadium saw the former Manchester City striker losing his job as Gezi Platinum Stars coach following a string of uninspiring results. The former Warriors captain had led his charges to one victory in the last seven matches and the 1-0 loss to Yada on Saturday was Benjani's fifth defeat in 13 games. He only mastered three victories in his time since March with five draws and five defeats. The last time he was in Harare, his misfiring trips were taught a football lesson by Rentals, who demolished Madamburo by three goals to nil at the National Sports Stadium. The Mondoro Base Club have been sliding down the log table and lie ninth with 30 points from 22 games. 17 massive points behind leaders FC Platinum. Gezi Platinum stars have advised assistant coach Tekshua Chiragui takes over as interim coach with Kifton Kadurira assisting. For the club, this is the second coach they've fired in five months. They parted ways with Rodwell's Lakama back in February. Elsewhere, a resurgent Kremlin and Bullets continue to claw their way from the relegation zone after beating Harare City by two goals to one at Vengare Stadium. The Harare soldiers, who have had a slow start to life in the top flight, are fighting to avoid a quick return to Division 1. Cranbourne are currently 12th on the log with 25 points. They made a huge jump from 15th last week. In our feature match, Dynamo's got back to winning ways with a splendid second half performance that gave them a 3-0 win away to Chicken Inn at Bobblefield Stadium in front of a good crowd. Here are highlights of that game. It's a very good afternoon and a welcome to Bobblefield Stadium. The corner kick comes and oh! Giving options. To Ndiraya. Muringai with the cross. Oh, no! oh my word. Oh, that's agonizing. There he was. Murwira with the shot. Oh, Zendera does well. Brian Musa cuts inside the shot. Oh, good. Oh, the fall up. Orotomo. Mavunga straight into the wall and an opportunity again and it's a goal! Junior Makunike! Oh my word! There he is, the young man. Oh, nicely done. On the edge of the D area. Good defensive work by Tanamus once again. Makanda. And a chance! Gets a goal! By Makanda. And he acknowledges 
There he was. Took his time. Saw Zendera off his line. Oh, coolly placing his effort. 66 minutes gone. She got a nil down almost three. It was a different story on Saturday and refreshingly carnival in the stands compared to back in May in the Battle of Zimbabwe showdown with Highlanders which ended prematurely for an orgy of violence and pitch invasions by both sets of supporters. Dynamo's coach Tony Ryan and I was happy to see his side post a rare win over the Gamecocks. The jinx has been broken. It was not easy for us, it was not easy for the team to go for four games without scoring a goal. So we're in a very difficult um, situation, but I'm happy that uh, today we came back very strong and scored three goals. I want to give all the credit to the lads. I want also to give, um, um, to thank our, our fans for the support they gave us today. Not just uh, today, but even in our pre-vax game, during the difficult phase, they were, they were with us. In conceding defeat, chicken in coach Joey Antipas felt Dynamos had been the hungrier and more aggressive of the two. We deserved it. And Dynamos deserved it. They wanted the game more than us. Uh, they showed that they were really up to this win, up to the lean patch, and they were deservedly winners. So all I can say is that the better team won. Sunday saw four matches being played around the country and Caps United drew their third game in a row as they settled for a goalless draw against Manika Diamonds. The draw didn't do much for the Green Machine as they remained 13th on the log. Makepe Kepe, who recently went through their worst spell in history after losing seven consecutive games, have avoided defeat in the last four outings but Chitembo drew positives from their performance in the last few matches and believes they are on the right path as they move towards the business end of the season. The team is showing some great signs of, of, of improvement. Some uh, new faces today, uh, blessing, power. Do you think uh, the team uh, is now uh, what you want? It's a process. Do? It's a process. It's a process. I'm sure they'll get to where they want to get to with time. Coach, are we expecting any more new players before the window closes? Yeah, it's, it's still an open secret. I'm sure any coach would want to give a, a very good players and, 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 and uh, we are no exception. We want uh, good players. Manika Diamond's coach, Johannes Inuma, felt a point away from home was satisfactory despite failing to reproduce the performance that saw them winning the reverse fixture by six goals to two at Sakuba. However, they remained fourth on the log standings with 34 points. Yeah, it's a good result of playing away from home for a such a very big team. Uh, it, it is commendable. In other matches, two goals in each half were enough for Bilal Chiefs to dismiss relegation threatened Tenox in a match played at Vengere. At Barberfield Stadium, Highlanders dusted themselves up from last week's disappointing loss to bottom club Wawa as they aged Bilal City 1-0. Let's rewind to what happened in that Belaya derby. And they make another mistake, allowing Islanders to come at them now, Chikuba on the chase. Oh, he does well. Can he bring it across? And it's a goal! with the goal 10 minutes into the game and Makarusa strikes look at Lino Chikua doing so well brought in a low cross beats the goalkeeper and bang Makarusa unmarked ghosting from the blind side and they are in the driving seat. The victory means Highlanders register their eighth win of the season 
which ensured they jumped from ninth to sixth place with 33 points, while Bulawayo City are third from bottom on the log on 21 points. Highlanders coach Baltema Brito was a satisfied man. Of course that we are happy because we collected three points, but um, the boys, they gave everything, they fight until the end, even with the constrangements that we have. But, uh, okay, three points is good, we are happy, but the game today shows that we need to improve some details and making our way if you want to win more times. Lawyer City coach Farai Tawachera felt they deserved at least a point. In terms of play, I believe we did well. Very, very well. I wanted to see what the wise dimension the wise brings into the country. And then I worked on it. They had no, they had no answers to us. They won the game, but they had no answers. Because they, they were left with one ball, long ball. They tried to play in the midfield, we were all over them. But well, positively, I think we did well. We lost the game fine, we lost the points fine, but in terms of performance, Elsewhere, a solitary goal by veteran midfielder Raso Madamombe was enough to separate Triangle and Black Rhinos at the Gibo Stadium in Southeast Low Veld. It's match day 23 this weekend in the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League. Leaders FC Platinum visit Harare City and the match will be live on ZTN Prime, Channel 294 on DSTV. In other matches on Saturday, second place Chicken Inn travel to ZPC Kariba while Black Rhinos and Kremlin Bullets clash at Vengere in the Defence Forces derby. On Sunday, Gezi Platinum Stars begin life without Benjani Maruwari as they host Triangle at the Baobab Stadium. This match will be live on ZTN Prime. Elsewhere, third place Dynamos hosts Blau Chiefs, while Highlanders take on Tenax in Bulawayo.